What is up, YouTubers? It's the Repo Man 360 here. I've had a few packages come in the mail, and they're starting to pile up, so I thought I'd do a bit of a mail call. Uh, some of this I don't even quite remember where it came from, but I, I think I got it all down. Um, this uh, first box here is going to come from a fellow YouTuber uh, by the name of Gamer Emporium. He's got a family member that's going through a tough time, so he ended up selling off the majority of his gaming collection. Uh, so I was I was happy to help out. Uh, he you know gave me a, gave me a good deal uh, for what I was what I was buying, and the the money was going to a good cause. So I was happy to spend it, and I hope he's doing a lot better. But if you're watching, all right. So here's box number one. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Actually, I bought a few things from him. Uh, and I don't really remember everything, so it's going to be a bit of a surprise for me, too. Uh, but packaged very well, came here quick. Uh, well, sorry I haven't had more time to get around to opening it, but here we are. <laughs> Alright, very nice, everything's packed up nice and neat. Ooh, alright. Uh, okay, first up we got some loose DS games. Uh, we have a copy of, see how we're going to do this, Lunar Nights, uh, a copy of Drone Tactics, uh, a copy of Fantasy Zero. Zero, heard this is a lot of fun, I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to checking this out, uh, and then we have uh, The Legend of Korra for the 3DS. Uh, and yeah, that one is missing manual, but I believe most of them have their their insides. Uh, then we have also for the 3DS, Castlevania. Uh, was it uh, Mirror of Fate? And I'm just gonna assume they're all in there. From from I think that was the only one that was missing. Uh, and we have Shin Megami Tensen, Devil Summoner. So, hackers. Uh, I'm I've got a love-hate relationship with Atlas, and it seemed like he had a lot of Atlas stuff. So, sort of uh, searching out, hoping to find some of the gems. Uh, we got another Shin Megami Tensen Dual Survivor Overclocked. There we go. Get it all in there. Uh, now we have a DS Shin Megami Tensen strange journey and it feels like it is full of stuff so there's probably lots of goodies in there That's packing stuff Shin Megami Tensei dual survivor oh, okay I must be butchering that name because that just whoa that was whoo I don't know what happened there okay moving forward <laughs> we have uh, Hotel Dusk Room uh, 215. I think this one is missing the manual. I think I remember him saying that. Uh, but uh, excellent uh, uh, story-based game, kind of like a choose-your-own-adventure. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. I, I played it for maybe about five minutes uh, as a demo, uh, and it looked really cool. Then we have a copy of Puzzle Quest on the DS. Uh, love this game on the uh, Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, so happy to get it for the handheld. Uh, Radiant Historia for the DS. Sensing a theme here for this box. And then we have a copy of uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4. Uh, looks like the big box super limited edition with all sorts of extra goodies in it. So very cool there. All right, let's get all that back in the box and on to the next one. All right, so right there. All right. Okay. So this one, hmm. I already cut the labels off of these, so not sure what's in this white bag of goodness, but we'll find out. Yeah, I try and cut the labels off just in case I accidentally flash them at the uh, camera. I don't want to give anybody's address away. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I just recently uh, got myself a coffee maker and started uh, making my own coffee. Uh, 
one of the knife companies that I buy from, uh, there uh they recommended this this coffee brand and they actually ended up uh winning a Super Bowl spot uh for a small business and that's uh Death Wish Coffee uh, so it's actually you know this is my second order of it uh this isn't how the first order came uh it's in kind of like a like a collectible card box uh in like oh okay here we go got it <laughs> All right, and here we go. Mmm, Death Wish coffee, good stuff. I get the ground, I get it ground already. Oh, and they threw in uh, like a bandana. That's kind of cool. And uh, big sticker. There we go. Uh, so yeah, uh, and there's a code. It's probably a code anyone can use. Hey, if you want to get some Death Wish coffee, there's a code. Use it while you can. <laughs> uh, it's super caffeinated. Uh, it's a little strong. Uh, I personally uh, prefer it black with uh, just a little bit of raw sugar. Uh, but to each their own. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, uh, this one, I made a note. Yes, this is from McFly's 8-Bit Avenue. Uh, it's something that Gamer Emporium had suggested. I checked it out for myself. Uh, the website was nice. I opted for the, uh, just pay them with a credit card instead of doing the PayPal and email thing. Uh, so that worked out just fine. Uh, I didn't have any trouble with that. Uh, I will say I was a little disappointed in the shipping. I do live on an island in the tip of Florida. So, uh... I, I kind of I, I kind of get it, you know. I know, you know. Sometimes I'm gonna end up paying a little more, but I actually tinkered around with it, and I know how much a flat rate box would would cost to come from where he was sending it, and I I know what would fit in that flat rate box, and everything uh, I put in the cart would have fit, and it was double what I would have paid for a flat rate box. So I ended up thinning out what I actually ordered, uh, and there's my invoice. Uh, probably at the bottom. So all together, I paid uh, nine seventy in shipping. So it was uh, forty dollars total for everything I'm about to show you. Uh, no little note or anything. All right, and actually, I really don't even remember what I ordered. So uh, just sort of testing it out, seeing uh, seeing what it felt like. And first up, we have. Very cool. I've always wanted one of these, and I saw he had one, so I had to get it. Uh, it is a four-way selector for the Genesis. I don't ever remember any games for the Genesis that required four players, but there we go. I got it now. Uh, next, we have a complete copy of Rugrats uh, Time Travels for the Game Boy Color. Uh, I'm I'm a sucker for boxed games, so I decided to see how that and the condition is it's just like it was uh, pictured and it's it's come nice in this box, so I'm definitely pleased with that. I got exactly what I was expecting, uh, and then, and these all have price tags on them, so uh, for two bucks, looks like the pink goes to Hollywood uh, and. Backs are nice, and he takes good pictures of these too. So you you really get a, a and he he'll tell you if there's anything uh, uh, that maybe you can't see in the picture. He'll he'll mention it in the description, uh, and that's Nickelodeon Ah Real Monsters. And for a buck, we've got Stanley Cup. Now a little uh, pro tip from me to you. Uh, I get uh, games from time to time that it's a really good game, but the back is just like ruined for whatever reason. This has got a little sticker on it. I can I can take that off no problem, and I, I don't believe there'll be any discoloring under there. But as a general rule, if you can find old cart games like this, uh, especially like the SNES for a dollar, pick them up because you never know when you're gonna need a back, a particular style of back. Uh, just to make your copy all that much better. Uh, this particular, this is there's a couple different uh, variants of how these go, but uh, this one is the 
uh, screws in the front version. Uh, so for a buck, I, it's a, I, I actually I don't think I have the title anyways. Uh, so and for it looks like fifteen dollars, I got a copy of Shinobi Three on the Gener Genesis. I'm happy to have that. Uh, I think the only caveat was that it did not come with the manual, uh, but the cart is in fantastic shape. So I am happy to have that. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, the tab is cut, but I did that as a kid too. So uh, when I see these 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 carts with the tab still on them, I'm like, who who? What kid did that back then? Who who didn't cut those off? Uh, if you held on to them, man, just let, leave me a comment down below and tell me how you stacked them up. That was hell. All right, next up we have. Oh, this is gonna be the other box. Oh, it's too big. Uh, from Gamer Emporium. Uh, really great guy. Uh, I I hope he gets some time to uh, make some more videos because his videos are entertaining and I enjoy them. And I think he does some pretty nifty editing. Uh, so big fan of the Gamer Emporium. I hope all is well, brother. All right, let's get into this box and find out what in the world is in here. Like I said, it's actually it's been a while, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm I'm gonna be pulling out of here. Okay. All right. Oh, a little tape on that. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. So. All right. It's gonna be a, a little bit of a mix. Uh, we have. Blood Omen 2. Uh, this is actually a, an upgrade for me. Uh, yeah, the manual's in there. So happy to have that. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Tem uh, Emperor's Tomb. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> caught myself there. Uh, missing the manual, but again, this I believe is an upgrade for me. I think I already have the manual. Uh, Let's see. Okay. And we have Silent Hill 2 for the Xbox. Uh, the Suffering. A lot of these horror based games I, I kind of skipped out on uh, in the beginning. And this one, uh, he let me know about it. Uh, it for me, it's kind of going to be like a, a disc-only copy. Uh, it's got a, a, a sorry, it's uh, Dungeons and Dragons Heroes. Uh, it's got like a copy uh, of a of a of the the artwork. Uh, but I, I'm a I'm a stickler completionist, uh, so I'll be looking to fix that. All right. And then we have a copy of Maximum Chase. I've actually just kind of been interested in uh, playing this. I ended up with a sealed copy of this way back when uh, the Xbox was, was finishing up. Uh, then we have a copy of Metal Slug 3. Uh, I had uh, a disc copy of this that came in my 4 and 5. I have 4 and 3 instead of 4 and 5. Uh, and then a copy of Shinmu 2. Excellent game. Uh, very sad that it did not make it to the American version. I have American games somewhere. Oh, they're up there. Sorry. Uh, for of the Dreamcast, but happy to have been able to play it at all. And then we have a copy of Manhunt. Again, one of those oddball uh, horror games that I kind of skipped during the life cycle. Uh, Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Green. I played the demo of this, and it just freaked me the heck out. It was, if you played the game, it was in the theater, I believe, and there was just tons of body bags all over the place. And I just thought the body bags were all going to hop up and start going crazy. Uh, and I, I never picked up the game. Uh, then we have a copy of Still Life. One of the, uh, I believe it's... Uh, one of those uh, camera style games where uh, kind of 
It's kind of like uh, Fatal Frame and Indigo Prophecy mixed together. Uh, so interested to check that out. Uh, then we have a copy of uh, Nightcaster. Uh, I believe I have a sealed version of this. I worked at a game store for a while. Uh, it was uh, Sam Goody, if you can remember those, and then it uh, eventually became an FYE. And I ordered a lot of Xbox games that we didn't get in, uh, but I, I just wanted them. Uh, so you know, I ended up playing the the Halos and uh, the GTAs and stuff like that, but uh, some of these uh, more obscure ones I never really got around to playing. Uh, Case is a little... I, I, I put it more towards good than very good, but this is definitely an upgrade for me, uh, Phantom Dust. I found a copy of this years ago at a GameStop, and it was uh, missing the manual and beat to hell, and this one is beautiful, and the disc is nice. Uh, so I'm absolutely thrilled. Uh, this is a, it's actually, it looks like it's a replacement case, like a 360 case, but that's not a big deal. I can, I got plenty of regular cases, but this is a really fun game. I played the demo in Japanese. The people at OXM really liked the game, and, and they actually made it like a little Easter egg in one of the OXM discs. Uh, and just really cool. Um, kind of, uh... Kind of like how the, the the Final Fantasies went uh, towards uh, towards the end, the the more recent ones where it's combo skills mixed with live combat. Uh, so, but still kind of like a turn-based element. Uh, so, definitely a fun game. If you haven't played it, definitely check it out. Uh, then we have Legacy of Kane Defiance. Uh, that is complete. Excellent. Excellent. And American McGee presents Scrapland. This is another one of those that uh, just sort of fell into the radar. And uh, if you can believe it, I've actually played Pulse Racer. So I mean, I can't, <laughs> I, I can't say I, I didn't play any bad games for the Xbox, uh, but I did eventually start avoiding them. Uh, and then we have the sequel to The Suffering, that is The Suffering Ties That Bind. Uh, Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. Uh, this was, it took uh, Munch and uh, made it like a uh, third person shooter. Uh, so it was kind of an interesting departure from the original gameplay. And... It, it, it hit mixed reviews. I think that if you just played it as a standalone game, you didn't know anything about any games before it, you'd have loved it. Uh, but the some of the purists kind of tainted it for anyone else. Then we have a copy of Deuce X Invisible War, which has a very, very naughty, naughty secret. If you know where to take the flag, uh, hint, it's the bathroom. All right, and now I ended up cleaning out. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I got all of his Vita games. Uh, my Vita collection was is not that good. Uh, I think I only ended up with like two duplicates here. Uh, so I've definitely been trying to beef that up lately. It seems like they're they're starting to get a little more affordable, and uh, there's a, a few different ways to play it. And I've now got. Uh, Go ahead and skip to that. Have the <laughs> the PlayStation uh, Vita TV version where you can play the games uh, on your TV. Uh, so happy to get that. Uh, it's got a controller in there and some other little goodies. Uh, then we have Hyper Devotion Noir. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. I apologize. Whew, whew. Save it. Saved it. Nice. And then we have Conception 2. Alright, what else is in here? Ooh, alright. Still plenty, plenty. Uh, we have Sorcery Saga, Curse of the Curry God, Hot Plate Edition. Seems a little smaller than I remember it when I saw it on Amazon. Uh, but, happy to have it. And it is sealed. 
I think there's a few more sealed here. Uh, yeah, we have Freedom Wars sealed. Uh, and that is... And then this one... It's got a sticker that says PlayStation TV compatible. That's weird. Uh, Two Kinsen, The Age of Demons. Haven't quite heard of that one. I've seen the picture at GameStop before, but um, maybe open it up and give it a try. Uh, then we have, I'm sure I'm going to butcher that, Mind Zero. <laughs> ah, Dungeon Hunter Alliance. Definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Curious. Yeah. All right. Oh, one more sealed, uh, The Walking Dead Season 2. Those are kind of interesting, sort of. Uh, it's hard. Some of these are it's hard to talk about without spoiling them, but uh, you you end up making choices, and it's not always like a perfect choice. Sometimes it's like this person dies or that person dies. It's not... Uh, uh, Everyone lives happily ever after, which is kind of nice. It's a, a little refreshing in uh, in video games. Uh, then we have a Silent Hill uh, Book of Memories. We got a sticker to take off there, but no biggie. And uh, I don't think these even come with anything anymore. I've got some sealed ones to open to find out. And then last we have uh, Tales of Hearts R. So I've got loads of games to play now, and yeah, and they're saying PlayStation TV compatible. So I'm wondering uh, if there's if it's just because the TVs come out and uh, they're just letting people know, hey, it's gonna work, kind of like uh, when uh, the 2DS came out and they said 2DS and 3DS compatible. They probably all work, but we'll see. I'm gonna find out. All right, so uh, definitely Gamer Emporium. Thank you so much, but I really appreciate it. And like I said, I hope your your family's doing well. Uh, I, I'm happy that I could help in my own little small part. Uh, and then, last but not least, I've got one box left. I know this has run a bit long. Uh, oof, there's my blade. We have a box here from one Grimsy42. That's right, the Grimster. I I don't think uh, I've run that by him. I don't know that that's cool. Let's let's just keep that between us. Uh, he uh, was going to a convention and wanted to get rid of a few doubles before he left and have a little pocket money. Uh, so I was fortunate. It just so happened that I got off early that day and I caught the post like. 30 minutes after it was up, like really quick. So I, I, I sort of got first crack. I, I don't, I don't think anything had quite gone yet. Uh, so I was super happy to get what I got. Uh, and he's always a great guy. Uh, I call him the people's champ. Uh, we have a Nintendo game, <laughs> my first Nintendo game in a long time. Uh, gonna. I'm not quite sure what that is, but I'm gonna gonna try and give it a clean. It's got a little white something or other there, but uh, I think I might be able to get that off. Uh, we have a copy of Magician. I don't have a copy of this, so happy to add it to the collection. All right, and then what else is in here? Okay, and we have a copy of. Super Godzilla for the SNES. Uh, someone had recommended this uh, to me. Uh, I I don't know uh, a lot about it, but it's got Godzilla. It can't be all bad. All right, and then what do we have here? More stuff to take off. Okay, we have my I believe this is my third Mega Drive game, uh, Ghostbusters. Uh, the case is in really good shape. It's missing the manual. I'm not terribly fussed about that, but the cart is super, super clean. So, absolutely happy to get that. Looking forward to playing it. And last, last but not least, and I never thought I'd own this. I never, I never thought I'd get my hands on a copy of this. And, and it's sealed. So, 
we have a copy of Saturday Morning RPG. I can't believe it. I mean, I know uh, there was a, it was a real limited run. It was really hard to get a hold of these. So super happy to add that to uh, the collection. Uh, it says limited run number two on the bottom. I'm not sure if that means it was part of the second batch or this is the second game they've done. I don't know. But either way, happy to have this in my collection. Thank you very much, Grimsy42. I'm going to bring this with me this weekend for my yard sailing, and I think it's going to bring me a lot of good luck. So I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I know this ran a little long, but I had to get these boxes knocked out so I could start playing these games. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you see anything in there you just can't live without, uh, I think I had a couple of doubles in there. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And take care, guys.